Hey Curl Friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today we're gonna do something a little different Something I've never even seen done before, you know, in person We are here at Tear Beat Salon hey. Back with Kamara, aka Raw hey Intuition And I have my curl friend, Ashley Not today, I'm, I'm a little blown out today She's but. blown <laughs> out the curls because she is getting some crochet faux locks. So yes. Let's take a little look. She's gonna get these installed. We're using Zeri hair for our faux locks with the curly ends, and then Batik for the looser texture curls. So this is gonna be fun. It's a crochet install. Um, I'll be using a latch hook, just braiding her hair in a simple braiding pattern all the way back, and then we're gonna install these, and it's gonna be great. We have two different colors here, right? Yes. yes. These are pretty. So with the faux locks, they're already locked. You just have to attach them. You're not actually creating dreadlocks on your own hair. So right now I'm just gonna section off a little part um, of her hair, leaving the perimeter out. Um, this just gives it more of like a natural look it looks like you have individual faux locks, but we're gonna be crocheting the middle. So I'm just gonna braid the front of her hair straight back. And then once I get to this section, I'm going to use the same braids to attach it. So I'm gonna combine the back braids with the front. straight back and then I connected the ends of the front braids to the back braids it looks complicated just looking at it but um, it's not as complicated as it seems but I just braided everything and tucked her hair in and I crocheted the ends of her braid all the way through so everything is just flat so right now I'm just gonna use my Simulating hair oil. You can use any oil that you like. My favorite is Jamaican castor oil, but I don't have that right now. So just going through and oiling her hair. It's very important to make sure that you oil your hair and moisturize it because um, leaving your hair in a protective style, it will eventually dry your hair out. Synthetic hair dries hair. So it's just important to always keep it moisturized. Throughout the week, she can always go through, touch her scalp and oil her hair. You don't need to do it to the faux locks. It's synthetic hair. It's not going to absorb any product. Mm -hmm. If anything, it's going to make it oily and probably weigh it down, and that's not what you want. So just focus on your actual scalp, and that's it. So I'm unraveling the braid that we did right here. <laughs> going to be dividing her hair in small sections just doing her hair in individual form so I'm gonna braid it right now that way I can go back and wrap the crochet hair around it How do you do it? <laughs> okay, 
so I'm gonna start with the front of her hair um, with the individuals that I just did. I'm just gonna take the latch hook, push it through. And I'm going to gently pull it on the hair. So you're gonna slowly unwrap, open it up and let it coil right back around the actual braid. Instant length. <laughs> Nobody got time to grow. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same thing um, in like a small, in a pattern of light to dark throughout her whole perimeter. So again, I'm gonna take the latch hook through. Through the braid. Mm -hmm. Close it, pull it. Take the faux lock hair, gently pull it through. You're just gonna get a good feel of where the hair is coiling. That way you know where to twist it. Two down, a couple hundred to go. <laughs> take over from here. <laughs> okay, ready? Alright, don't mess me up. <laughs> All right, hold no on. pressure. So, I'm gonna see where it's unraveling, which looks like it's this way, right? Open up a little. Yeah. Feels like you know what you're doing. You're Girl, doing I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for three seconds. <laughs> And kind of let it just kind of feel how it's, yeah, coiling around the hair. Mm, there we go. And let it just do it on its own. Should I buy a chair now or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> I want credit for this lock on the whole trip. I want you, you to tell everybody. Like she did this one. <laughs> Like, so Kamara did my hair, but Bianca, <laughs> she did this one. Do, 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 do. Yes. Perimeter done. Can't wait to see it. You have no idea what you look like. No idea. Now I'm gonna start to crochet the hair onto the cornrow. Um, I'll add the looser texture after. For me, it's easier if I start at the bottom and then go to the top. Same thing, we just take the latch hook through the braid and pull. Then you're done. That's it. Nice, so cool. Just all the locks. And then we're gonna add in some extra hair. Add some little pizzazz to it. So we're using um, Ultra Boutique. They're curly hair, specifically deep wave. So this is gonna be cute. So I'm just gonna go through. You can literally take any section and, sorry, I do this part so fast, but you're gonna knot it, Ooh. and that's it. I don't even know what you just did, but it looked real cool. <laughs> <laughs> she did some little twisty magic. <laughs> just gonna take any loose section, crochet it through. I usually knot it like around five or six times. Oh. And then pull. Nice. And there you go. So it's gonna be sporadic. It's not gonna be any type of 
you know, pattern just in different places. Always need some curl. Just a little curl. So just a little. <laughs> Without the extra hair versus with. Now for the big reveal. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. It does look like it'd be really heavy. So oh, pretty. Wow. You look Thank so you cute. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, it's so long. It keeps going. <laughs> The color is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna add some little gems. Ooh, that one's a really pretty one. I need to get some of those. Just sporadic. They could be placed anywhere. Mm hmm Look how beautiful these crochet faux locks turned out. Kamara did an amazing job. And this is a great protective style for your curls for the summer. If you got a lot of swimming to do, you're going on vacation, don't have time to be dealing with all your curls, this is a great option. And believe it or not, it only took two hours to do so versus getting your hair braided, which can take six or more hours. Let me see your first hair flip. Oh, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> and that's a wrap Ashley's hair looks so good I am obsessed make sure you follow these lovely ladies at raw intuition and at Ashley underscore Gresbian and that's a wrap for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video if so give me a thumbs up and subscribe I post two new videos every week once on Friday and once on Sunday so I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching Bianca Renee today